What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C Sharp tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to open another form and some tips related to that stuff. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to open up a new project. So file new project and let's choose Windows form application, name it something different. Form practice. Okay, hit OK. And there's our project here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up a second form. So this is called form. So whenever users hit start, um, the window that they see is called form. So we're trying to change from here to another form. So what we have to do is we have to give it a event. So let's add a button. And this button will do is uh, this button will, will take us to the next form. So let's name it something like change forms in our text box property and if we do uh, the font or the text changes inside of this button here so whenever user clicks this button it will change the window into different form so now what we have to do is we have to create a form 2 so hover over your mouse to your project and then right click it and then go down to add and new item. If you click that you will see a bunch of these lists here but we want to create another form so we're going to click Windows form and I would recommend you guys to keep this as form too but you can change it if you want to. Hit add and if you do notice there will be a form too so you can change between forms by clicking these two or in your right side solutions explore but anyway so when users click this button I want to take them to form 2 so let's make form 2 a little bit different so we can tell that it's a form 2 and let's put a label tag so if we put label here uh, we can write some text such as this is form 2 so when user come in here they will know that it's form 2 or you can do whatever but let's go back to our form one so let's add a event so what we have to do is we have to double click this button here to add button click event so when users click button one we want to take them to form two so now let's first create a form two object because we created a form two form two f2 f2 will be the name you so you can name it anything and new form Whoa, two. So I just created an object called F2. And now, so when user clicks this, I want to take them to form two. So what I have to do is I have to do F2 dot show dialog. Okay. And if you do show dialog, what we'll do is it will actually open a form two. So now that we coded this, let's hit start and then run this. So here's our form 1. When user clicks this, it will open up a form 2. So that's how you do it. So now I'm going to show you some cool tips you can use with this and modify it a little bit. So notice users cannot change this form into form 2 unless they close this, right? So that's what show dialog does. So let's say you didn't want them to see that form 1 after they click form 2, right? For example, if you're making game, you want them to show a introduction page, but if user clicks play, you don't want to show that introduction page anymore. So what we can do is we can hide this. So let's go back to form1.cs here. And now what we're going to do is we are going to hide this form 1. So what we have to do is we have to do this, meaning this form 1 dot hide and if you put that um, if you put that what will happen is it will actually hide the screen so user cannot see form 1 anymore so if we actually run this here uh, there's our form so when user clicks this they see form 2 but we don't see that form 1 anymore right so we can do that but there's one problem with this the problem is that when user close this 
it will not close out of the um, actual application because that form one is hidden. So it's actually running, we just can't see it. What is this, some kind of virus program? <laughs> so what we have to do is we have to actually close the application when user choose to cl close the F2, right? So now let's go back to our code and we're going to go back to our form2.cs on top here. And we have to add a event where when user close this form, we want to exit out of this application. So we have to add an event and we can do that by going down to property section here and then hit this uh, lightning mark. And if you hit that, you will see a bunch of events you can create just off of this form too. And if you uh, scroll down to behavior tag, you will see that there's a thing called form closed or form closing. We want to add form close event so we are going to choose that and double click it. And if you double click them it will create a method called form2 closed. So what will happen is when form2 has been closed I want to exit out of the application right so we can do something like application dot exit and parentheses semicolon. So if you do that, when user clicks form two, the whole application will actually quit. So let's test this out. So there's our form one. So if we choose this one, it will open up a form two, right? So now if we close it, it exit out of that whole application. So yeah, that's it for how to change form to form or how to open up a second form there. Uh, so if you guys have any other questions, please leave questions on the comment below. And if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.